It is the month of martyrdom for Sikhs. In the month of Po, the whole family of Guru Gobind Singh Ji was killed by Aurangzeb. Two Sahib Zadas were martyred fighting a sea of marauding Mughal forces at Chamkaur Sahib. Two of the Guru's sons were bricked alive and decapitated at Fatehgarh Sahib. They were seven and nine years old. They refused to give up their faith and accept Islam. In 2021, during these dreadful days when Sikhs are observing the martyrdom of Guru Gobind Singh's family, Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani is cuddling with fraudulent Christian missionaries. Let me know when you come across something more disgusting. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFR English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFR Media Group. In this video, I will tell you a tale of two states. I will tell you how Punjab Chief Minister Chani set up a university chair to study the Bible while Haryana teaches Bhagavad Gita. Let's begin. Christian missionaries have become a menace in India. First, the entire southern states like Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Today, they are mounting a war effort in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. In Andhra Pradesh, these missionaries, which fool people with their false, paid-for and cringe-worthy healing miracles, have the blessings of the Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy. <laughs> but it is Punjab that stays at a similar, if not a bigger, crisis. Don't you agree? A non-elected Chief Minister in the form of Charanjit Singh Chani in his short time in office, has wreaked havoc in Punjab. He has unleashed Christian missionaries in the state, and the people of Punjab need to be worried. Conversions are taking place at a breakneck pace in Punjab. The missionaries are capitalizing on the suffering of people who are financially stressed or struggling with disease. They are fraudulently promised to be healed in dramatic and ridiculous demonstrations that fool the people. Also, many convert so that they can get easy entry into countries like the United States or Canada by demanding political asylum. This is an onslaught on the spiritual ethos of Punjab. India stands at crossroads. The threat to demography is real. In such a time, would it make sense for an unelected chief minister to go all out in his efforts to woo one community? You know the answer to this question. Even Chandi does. But politics reigns supreme for opportunists and para-droppers like Charanjit. He has big shoes to fill. Captain Amarinder Singh was unceremoniously removed by the Congress as Chief Minister, and the party is betting on winning the upcoming Assembly election with Chani as its face. Chani needs to prove his mettle. He needs to win the election decisively. Otherwise, he will be booted out mercilessly by the Congress party. Did you know that Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani is rumored to be a Christian convert? Of course, the Congress is trying to suppress such information. Because if he is revealed to be one, winning the upcoming elections will become an impossibility for the man, and rightfully so. But his loyalties seem to become clearer with every passing day. On Tuesday, Charanjit Singh Chani said the Christian community of Punjab would be given due representation in the state government boards and announced setting up of a chair at university level for the study of the Bible. The study of the Bible. The issue of graveyards would be resolved in the districts where Christians have a sizable presence. Community hall each will be constructed in all districts to enable the community to hold functions there. But here's how Chani was snubbed by the people of Punjab. Slowly but surely, Punjabis are waking up to the threat posed by Christian missionaries. The SGPC, Akal Takht and Hindu organizations are all up in the ante on proselytizing scamsters. At the event where Chani made these announcements, the venue was practically empty. Chani reached the venue in Gurdaspur district around 12 p.m. on Tuesday. Guess what happened? The hall where he was supposed to deliver a speech had no audience. Chani was then forced to save himself the embarrassment, which is why he went on a surprise tour of nearby hospitals. When he returned, the venue was still empty and organizers could pull in merely a handful of people to listen to the chief minister woo the Christian community. This happened in Gurdaspur district. What do you think is the population of Christians in this district? Here's a conservative figure, 20%. At the India Today conclave, I happened to watch the session where Chani made a Bhangra entry and sat down with journalist Rahul Kamal for a conversation. I was appalled to hear the Chief Minister completely whitewash the criminal and exploitative nature of Christian missionaries. He went on to say how every religious group has a right to propagate their teachings and how this government will not bring in legislation to curb the menace of conversions in Punjab. It turned my stomach. Here was a man rumored to be hiding his religion, not showing the spine to call a spade a spade. Christian missionaries were depicted as innocents by him. But one must thank Chani for speaking his mind. 
How else would we know about the man's inclinations? Now, we know for a fact that Chani must not be allowed to become chief minister again. Chani was careful in his initial days as chief minister. He avoided Christian functions, projected himself as the ideal Sikh devout, and even cancelled an appearance alongside fraudster and rape accused Christian proselytizer Bajinder Singh. But such moves of Chani have been overshadowed by his latest outreach to Christians. While Charanjit Singh Chani gives a free pass to Christian missionaries in Punjab, Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar on Saturday announced that from the next academic session, students will be taught to recite slokas of the Bhagavad Gita in schools across the state. Khattar also said that books related to Gita will become a part of the curriculum for classes 5 and 7. Haryana, just next door to Punjab, is promoting Indian culture and values. Punjab needs to do the same. Chani will not, so the people of Punjab must. When one faces a demographic war, worrying about appearances and secularism can be self-destructive. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to TFI English. This is Siddharth signing off. Until the next one.